Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. You're about to see the completion of the retaining wall, which is part of the water wheel project that I'm working on at our pond as you enter our property. I have already put out one video prior on the retaining wall, but the difference with this one is this is the final completed parts. In other words, I had to add on to both ends of the wall, and then I had to do some other structural work there to make everything everything work out. I really think you'll enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna dig out the drain here on the end. It's gotten covered over again. I'm gonna get a rake and try to level this out a little bit and then I'll get the compactor in here, the plate compactor, and see what we can do with that. All right, let's see if this thing will start again. Got it on minimum. Turn it on. Let's see. Well, the fuel's on. I thought I had it off, but I didn't. Well, let's see. It almost started. I'm back on the uh, water wheel project today and I really do have a tough job here. All of this down through here is just a muddy mess. That's where the water runs from the spring right up here, out that pipe and down through here. And it just is a continual flow and that's really soupy, soggy dirt. And I need for this foundation to be able to come all the way over here so that I can run the water in a flume straight across the water wheel. So I need to be able to, to build my foundation much closer this direction. And so I'm going to have to build a retaining wall along here up to that wall and get the height to match 
and you know I basically just need to bring the rock up high enough to be level with the uh, base of the floor but I don't know how sturdy any of this is going to be it's going to be a lot of hand digging I'm really not looking forward to it but here we go okay I'm going to show you how nasty and soft this dirt is it's really soft See, if I'm standing on this, you can see I just start sinking instantly. And this has to be firmed up so I can make a retaining wall back up to here. And I don't know how to do that. I really don't. Um, I don't think digging, see it's so soft, I don't think there's a bottom to it. That's the problem. So do I need to go get the backhoe and try to dig this muck out of here? fill it with gravel and even if I did that would it hold block wall up or will the block wall sag over time I really don't know what to do I'm rarely stumped but this one has me stumped I don't know the best way to handle this I mean sure if you had the right equipment you could just dig down to solid ground and pour a wall or something but you know I'm trying to do this the simple practical thing and I don't know what that is. I don't know if there is a simple practical thing. I don't think this is ever going to pack. That's the problem. It's just, you can see how I just keep sinking in. I'm trying to think if there's another option. I really don't know what the option would be. I guess I'm going to try the backhoe idea. See if I can dig this out and then just dump enough gravel in there to make it solid. I, I just, I don't even know. I seriously don't. I guess I'm going to go get the backhoe and at least try to do something with that. There's springs coming out of the ground here pretty much everywhere. Like there's a spring coming out of the ground right there. There's springs coming out of the ground right up in here. In addition to the water coming down. Wow, it's just... Yeah, this whole thing through here is a spring, in fact. All the way through right in here. I can see water coming out of the ground. I can only do what I can do. And I'm not sure what that is. About a horse or two Well here's one more And I swear it's true The finest horse You've ever seen His name was Phantom 614 A proud young stallion With head held high His cold light Satin under candlelight Well you can see What I did there 
I got down to a layer that I wasn't expecting and it's not too bad it's still spongy but I think what I'm gonna do is go get creek gravel and just fill this whole thing with just solid rock and I think that'll make it just fine I did that in another place once before and it worked out perfectly so I kind of think that'll work in this case too I think that solved that problem. It ain't muddy now, and I don't think it will get muddy with that kind of rock down in there as a base. And I kind of think this will stay solid. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Yeah, I think we did a good thing there. Now we got a foundation we can build a cross wall on, and I don't think it'll be a problem. Well, it's the next day and late in the afternoon, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and make some more progress on this. So let's see how this goes. At least it won't be a muddy mess now. That always helps. Thank you. 
Well, I got to be honest, I'm at a loss because I don't know whether I really want to put block across there now or not. It's so solid that I'm thinking I might change my mind. I don't really know. I, I just, I'm not sure what to do. I don't really feel like I need block across there now. I think I could build my wall from, I mean, my uh, foundation and just pour a concrete foundation right across there. But on the other hand, I look at this area and I'm thinking maybe I should extend the block wall out some more this way and then go up, which I might do that. But I don't think I need to come across here with the block now. Wow, I'm just not sure. I got to do some more thinking. Well, I've been thinking about this a while and I do think my best option is to bring the wall out at least one more block, probably just one more block and then go straight up with the wall as straight as I can and then just backfill it and then that way it'll be real close to the spring coming out this way I can bring my building this way further which is a good thing and anyway that's what I'm gonna do I'm just I've made up my mind that's that's it and I hope it's a good idea I'm going to have to cut a bunch of blocks to end the wall. Uh, I've already got some half blocks in here. Yeah, I really don't even know where to go to start on this. Just going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, that block's low. So I'm going to have to throw in some gravel right here. Have to want to be there when you find it For it's not on any maps I know Out across the field through the pasture Well, I'm going to have to get a different level. That level's too big for the job. I think I've got all the tools gathered up I'll need. So let's get to laying some block. Climb along a steep and rocky trail When you cross that little creek in the valley See that vine covered church on the hill. That vine covered church above the valley where the congregation gathered to pray. Built with their hands from the forest, now stands as a marker for the grave. steeple leans slightly to the right and though all the windows are shattered you can still hear them singing at night the brothers and sisters who worship gather in that holy place still though they lie at rest in the valley beneath that vine covered church on the hill that vine Church above the valley Where the congregation gathered to pray Built with their hands from the forest Now stands as a marker for the grave It still stands as a marker for the grave.
me I labor and toil But my father said Son, you should move away He said, far life is dying Son, please don't stay I moved to the city the crops would get in. I could hear him say, son, you should move away. He said, farm life is dying. Son, please don't stay. Well, that went pretty well. Now I just need to get some capstones and put up there. Okay, let's put the capstones on. That may have been a bit premature. I probably want to fill those. So I may have to take those off and fill fill these blocks. I didn't think about that. My father lay dying, I knew it was fate, but he turned and said,
said, son, you should move away. Well, I wouldn't call that perfect, but it's good enough for who it's for. My father before me That I've earned it to find Cause I'll be out on that ranch Where I can reach the first branch of that
Well, I hope that's uh, gonna work. Got a little hand work to do now. I'm not exactly sure how the final product's gonna look, but I think we're moving in the right direction. Tree grown from on high. I don't own it, it just manage its worth. It's a small slice of heaven place down here on earth. Care for his trees, water his son. I don't own it, it just rent it from God. Well, I'm gonna need to get a level and see if that's gonna work or if I need to go more. Well, I was hoping it'd have a little bit of distance there, but unfortunately, we're not too far off. It's almost perfectly level. It's just about perfect, really, in terms of level, but I kind of wanted it to be down just a hair. Doggone it. <laughs> run the compactor through there and make that flatten it out and pack it down a little bit more Whew. That's hard to operate in a spot like that. I oh, just want to make sure that it's not an optical illusion. That... Oh yeah, we're good now. That knocked it down a, a good inch, I think. That's good. That's right where I wanted it. Just right where I wanted it. Well, I'm gonna get some gravel and dump in there and then we'll see what happens next. Well, that wasn't my most graceful dump, but that's good enough. It just takes a little hand raking. No, they won't miss me when I tell them I'm history. That's okay, for I've got a plan. And there'll be no regret, no hard feelings, no debt. We're all doing the best we can. Well, let's see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I have a feeling it's going to be a little high. But, you know, we'll get it figured out eventually. It takes a little while to get that first row laid. After that, it goes pretty fast. Okay, I guess I'll go get the block and bring them over here.
Wow. Wow. You can't beat that. So here is my last word. Some may think it absurd. But I know that someday you'll find it's better to leave than to stay and to grieve. Instead of a paycheck, you'll have peace of mind. I don't want it to just manage its worth. It's a small slice of heaven place down here on earth. Well, that's looking pretty good. That's starting to follow the contour of the hill, and that's what I need it to do. We'll see how it turns out. Well, for this to work out better, I really need to add at least one more block on the end. Doggone it. I mean, it could work just like it is, I guess, but that's not exactly what I was expecting. So, I don't know. And even if I put one on the end, I don't know if it'll help anything. Well, I don't know if I can dig that last one out with a shovel by hand or not. I'm going to give it a shot, I guess, because I hate to hook up the backhoe just for one or two more blocks. Care for his trees, I water his son, I don't know did he just read it from God. Maybe one more block right here, and that may be it. That may be it. I'm not really sure. Time I put the cap on there, I think that might work. It ain't easy. I'll give it some more thought and see what I do tomorrow. Well, my friends, I didn't film it, but I uh, cleaned this area up, filled all the rocks full of uh, gravel or broken or crushed rock, I guess you'd say. I backfilled behind here with river gravel and filled it all up to get the wall tight. And then I put some dirt on the top of it not enough dirt yet but some and what i'm going to do now is put the capstones on so i thought i'd just film that part It's worth It's a small slice of heaven Place down here on earth Care for his trees I water his son I don't know it I just read it from God I've never tried to break these top blocks before So I'm going to try to break a piece that will fit here And here and there and here's a piece laying here that's extra. So what I'm gonna do is just measure and cut them down the center. It's basically 18 inches across the front. So half of that's what, nine? So we'll mark a nine here. And it's approximately, yeah, it's approximately a foot across the back. So we'll mark a six here and then I'll just take and draw the line like this. <laughs> just can't. All right, so I got my line drawn. Now what I think I'll do is just take a light tap and go down this line. Just.
And <clears throat> what that does is help send a signal through the rock where it needs to break. At least that's the theory. All right, so I've got a little signal on that side. I'm gonna turn it over and try to do the same thing on this side. And you know, a rock mason might not do that. I don't know how they would do it, but that's how I'm doing it, so. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Yep, I did. And that broke is about as straight on that line as you could possibly ask for on a rock like that. So I'm happy with that. Let's see if it'll kind of fit the cap. Not great, but better than nothing. And I only need one more, or do I need two? Actually, I might need one down below too, now that I look at it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna clean this out and maybe I need one more too, so maybe I do still need two. We'll see. Well, I cleaned this out a little bit more with the bobcat right here. Um, now I gotta do some hand shoveling, it looks like. as I was wanting you always want better I, I was I should have turned this probably and came down this way but doggone that's a lot of work so I just left it like it is and I think it'll be fine well my friends I want to do something with this section of uh, the end of the wall here uh, I'm gonna have to do something to stabilize this area because I'm afraid this is all gonna fall in and I would like to backfill it up to the pipe level anyway so pay attention I'll see what I'm gonna do because I have no idea do is go get a big bunch of rock and just keep laying it up in here and call that good enough 
I thought about using this block, but this block is expensive and it's really hard to lay in there. And I think it'll just look more natural to lay a big rock in here. That's as good as it's gonna get. You can probably see I've got a bucket load of rock over here. A lot of this rock has been used before, has cement concrete on it, but I really don't think that'll matter for this. And I'll try to hide as much of the concrete as I can. looking real good I think I'm gonna try to beat that uh, pipe uh, round again it's been flattened in on that one side I don't have a big sledgehammer with me but I'll try this three pounder and see if that'll work improved but that I'm gonna need a bigger hammer I think well I got another load let's see how far this one goes <sighs> But I tried to overcome them as I've walked each weary mile. For I know He walked. 
walks beside me Even when the worst is done Now I pray he walks beside me As my final race is run Don't leave earth without him I heard a preacher say Oh, I care so much about him I'm on my knees today For I'm just a lowly pilgrim At the end of life's highway And I know that I'm not worthy Of my Lord's amazing I wish I would have got a few more. I need to go across here, I think, and maybe even along there. So maybe I'll go get one more big bucket full and lay them up flat along there and lay them up here. And then I think it's going to look real nice. Well, this last load of rock was the heaviest of all. These are heavy rocks. Whew. Uh. enough we can always put more if we think it needs more that's good enough for now that stabilizes this area it ain't gonna move and I can go on from there so my friends that will conclude the wall building portion of the water wheel project I think that looks really nice here's what it looks like from a different angle so there's what it looks like from the water wheel perspective. This is about where the water wheel would be sitting, where the camera is. Looks pretty nice.